think you Wicked girl! Don't you, you go calling me names. What have you ever done for me, I'd like to know? Stand there, would you? You trouble with you is it's all talk. Oh, it is, is it? You lay a finger on me and I'll... Come here. Oh! <laughs> you stand, wicked girl! There's one for your mother, and there's one for me. Stop it! Stop it! Hey, you're the fellow, are you? I've been waiting for you. Um, yes, all right, miss. It won't look like a tough time I'm finished. Uh, just a moment, I'm a police officer. Oh, that makes it worse. I'm looking for Miss Fish. The nerve of it. You found her! No. I tell you, I don't know him. I've never clapped eyes on him before. You keep minute. out of this. Let's oh. see if you can take your medicine like a man now. <laughs> He's a copper, Meg. I told you I'd never seen him before. I'm oh, sorry, Gav. Didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell your dad? You'll have us all in trouble before you're through. You coming in like that, I, I wasn't to know. I mean, how was I to know, Gav? Could have listened to once, couldn't you? You! A bit of a family tip, you see. I, I'm not one to raise me under a copper. Not knowingly, never. Uh, me, I'm a peaceable sort of bloke. Oh, are you? Ow! All right, we'll say no more about it if you promise to behave yourself. You think yourself lucky? Yes, too. all of you. Now, what's it all about? It's her. Left home a month ago. Oh, just like that. Next thing we know, we hear she's been set up here by some fancy fella. He's a respectable gentleman. Not like some I could mention. Respectable? What else has she done? Better know the worst. I've not done nothing. You saucy! Now, steady. Well, I've got to be right. Look, I'll take the lot of you down the station if you don't calm down. Oh, the shame. Now, I'll see what you've done. I want a word with Miss Fish. You can either stay here and keep quiet or get out. We'll stay. We'll stay. Very well. Now, you know Mr. Woolner, I believe. What if I do? So that's his name. Where is he? I won't warn I'll you again. I'll find him if I have to beat it out of you. You do what you like when I've finished. Until then, I'll book you for obstructing me in the course of my duty if there's one more peep out of you. You've got no business talking to my dad like that. No. That's fair, isn't it, Meg? Very fair. Thank you. Was Mr. Woolner here last night? Is he in a bit of bother? Never you mind. Was he here? Well, yes. He came about seven. And stayed? He had his breakfast here. Oh, God! Oh, just brass. Well, we're, we're our parents. It wouldn't be human if we didn't... Not now. Uh, no. No. So neither of you went out and nobody came in? No. I see. Do you notice his key? Key? <laughs> what key? You can't remember one. Can't say I do. You're sure now? It was a key he always carried on his watch chain. I never bothered with keys. Why should I bother with keys? Did you know Mr. Woolner was married? Married? Did you hear that? I heard. I suppose I did. Suppose? We'd have called here more often if he hadn't been, wouldn't he? You ever talk about his wife? Wouldn't have been nice. Or did he mention his job? He didn't come here for the conversation, you know. You didn't know very much about him, did you? So long as the rent got paid and the allowance come through and he didn't get, you know, rough. Why should I care what he got up to when he wasn't here? All right, that's all. Is he in trouble? What's more to the point are you? Well, as far as I'm concerned, I won't bother you any longer. Well, as far as I'm concerned, I can have... Don't you leave me with I him! I couldn't possibly interfere in a purely domestic affair, ma'am. My daughter's having a...